and welcome to the last video of the season. Hello and welcome my dear scare modelers to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo and today we're gonna do a review and I have an announcement. If you want to skip to the video review, there's a timestamp in the video description so you can just skip on ahead. First of all, I would like to apologize because of my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather. No, it's not COVID. I've just been outside hiking and the weather was really freaky, a lot of wind, a lot of rain and it's been just crazy here. Um, that's why my voice is a little bit tired and I have a little bit of nose stuffage. <laughs> the first thing that I would like to address is that this is the last video for the season. As you might know, I really like hiking and I will be outside for the most part, especially if the weather is gonna be nice and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. But as for the channel, I'll be back on the 1st of September, 2021. This year has been a very good year to me, um, both professionally and personally. And I would like to thank each and every single subscriber of mine on this channel who has stood by me and has watched my videos, liked my videos, comment my videos, and just being a good supporter of the channel. I really, really appreciate you. And as of today, there is a little over 2000 subscribers on my channel, which is absolutely fantastic. I do hope that this trend is just gonna go up and up and up because I really wanna make this channel something good. But it's not just about you guys clicking and subscribing, it's about me being better. Now, I'm not gonna be changing the programming scheme too much. I'll still be doing reviews for the most part and then build videos as such. But I have been thinking about some tutorial videos that I might release but this is not the only change that's gonna happen in the future. As you can see behind me, there's uh, a lot of stuff missing. Um, there's no more paints here. And basically there's boxes all around me here. There's a big mess and that's because I'm moving out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this background that you see right here before me, oh, well behind me, is the last time that you're gonna be seeing it. In September, it's gonna be a new location. So this is another thing to look forward to on the channel. Now for the video today. For today's video, I've chosen another simple model to build, this time from Tamiya. It is Tamiya's 135th scale model Land Rover Pink Panther. No, it's not a Barbie model. It is just a pink model. Now the reason that it's pink is because you're supposed to paint in desert pink because it's desert camouflage. It is a desert vehicle from the 1970s. And the model is also from the 1970s. So this is a pretty old model. It is also a very simple model with few parts, no clear parts, no decals, and basic instruction sheets. So basically for everyone who likes military stuff, even beginners. And without me going on too much, let us skip into the video and see what's what. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the SAS Land Rover Pink Panther Mobile from Tamiya. This of course is a 135th scale model, model number 35076. According to Scalemates, this is a very old model, initially released in 1976. And as far as I know, Tamiya has not released any new ones in the past years. Price point for this model goes anywhere from 10 to 16 euros, depending on where you live. This one is 15.95. And yeah, it's pink. It's just pink. Everything is pink. This model has to be one of the easiest models I've seen. It has only three sprues that contain a little over 100 parts. That is why I would recommend it to a beginner. Although this model is from the 1970s, I must say it has aged really, really well. The quality of the plastic is fantastic. The sprue attachment points are nice and long and consistent. And there is hardly, if any, flash on the parts themselves. Of course, that doesn't mean that it's fault-free, but it's very minimal and it's easily fixable. Another thing that I would say is true, there is a lot of surface detail on certain parts that you don't usually see from models of that era, especially on the tires, guns, the facial expressions on the figure, and the very smallest tools and guns. This particular model is also unique because it doesn't have any clear parts, despite having front lights and a spotlight on the back which means that some imagination and creativity will be needed to replicate these two parts from a builder's perspective. If the Mia ever decides to remake this model, it would surely be a much more up-to-date and more detailed one, but as it stands, even though it's a 45-year-old model, it is absolutely fantastic for what it is and what it offers. Now, it's hard for me to judge just how well this model goes together because I have not built one yet, but I am itching to do so and maybe in the future one of the projects that I will tackle is this particular car. But if anybody else out there in the internet land has already done this, 
please do leave a comment down below and share with the community how well this goes together and if you have any problems with it. Well, by now you've probably guessed that this is not a World War II vehicle because it's a Land Rover and those were not available at that period in time. This is why this is a post-war vehicle that was serving in the Middle East in the 1970s. And what is the story behind this pink mobile? Well, listen up. Up to the early 1960s, the Jeep remained the principal vehicle since the ubiquitous Land Rover has been employed. Since the 1970s, the SAS has used more refined conversion of the long wheelbase Mark II as depicted in this kit. This version lacks windscreen and side doors, but carries mounts of two general purpose machine guns. A normal crew of three, driver, commander and the front gunner, radio operator and a rear gunner, sometimes a fourth man is carried. Three smoke candle dischargers are mounted at each corner of the vehicle and special equipment includes spotlight, pioneer tools, stowage lockers and a rear tailboard extension which is used to carry storage. Sand channels are another item but other equipment such as radio set is fitted depending on the operational requirements. With extra fuel tanks the vehicle has a road range of 1100 miles which is 1777 kilometers. And the vehicle weighs 3 tons fully stored and equipped. While the Land Rover is the standard patrol vehicle, the SAS units may employ other vehicles as conditions demand. In the desert operations, the SAS Rovers are painted to suit the terrain, a sand pink, which has led to the nickname Pink Panther, being applied on occasion. And there you go, now you know. Despite being pink, I think that the parts in the spruce stood well the test of time, even the smaller ones that usually on older models on other manufacturers do tend to be a little bit less, how should I say, refined. Well here we see the last pieces of the sprue which contain the driver for this vehicle and next we'll be moving to the manual. I often reference the Mia fold-out sheet of paper manuals and this is how they look. Just a fold-out piece of paper that contains all the necessary steps to complete the model, which in this case is a little bit claustrophobic and pushed together, which means that you really need to pay attention on how to put the thing together and how to paint individual parts. Although the vehicle is pink, there are certain parts that are not supposed to be pink, just so you know. While this might not be the most ideal modern manual with full colorful graphics, it does have some advantages and that is the text which is basically present everywhere so you know exactly what you're supposed to do. The back of the manual is even more text heavy which gives you a deeper understanding and explanation of what certain elements of the vehicle are and what they were used for as well as how they're supposed to be painted and assembled. Overall, I think this model is generally very good and I would recommend it to anybody who is in 135th scale models. And so we come to the end of another video. Thank you so very very much for watching if you have been. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. And I'll see you in September. Bye bye. I forgot my keys.